From danger on the water to solving crimes below the surface, KFDM's Erica Harris on a team of specially trained divers with the Port Arthur Fire Department going to great depths to investigate and to solve cases. Port Arthur firefighters always ready to answer the call to battle fires. They're also ready to respond to emergencies in the water. The Port Arthur Fire Department is also home to a special team of highly trained divers who help law enforcement agencies solve cases. They're called underwater criminal investigators or UCI divers. It just allows you to push yourself and, and provide closure to families to help solve crimes. We were allowed to watch during training day. This session at a large canal off Jimmy Johnson Boulevard and 9th Avenue. Captain Joshua Resweber leads an underwater criminal investigators dive team of 12. We assist all the local, state, and federal law enforcement agencies in our area. Uh, there is a, a process we use just like a land investigator would use. We use a process underwater to recover evidence, to maintain DNA, fingerprints, ballistics. Captain Chase Hampshire has five years of UCI dive experience. Like for example, vehicle, recovering the vehicle will identify it with sonar, go down, identify it, make sure it is the car that we're looking for, depending on how, how recent the incident is, and then depending on the depth of the water, we may use different techniques to bring it up to surface and bring it to shore. Divers can remain underwater for up to one hour. When the diver wants to talk, he's going to press this button. You usually tell him to wait a second. They use the these masks yes. to communicate. The divers fill buckets and dump contents into a sifter for evidence collection, a tedious process to find small objects like bones or projectiles. Captain Resweber finally finds something. It's a gun, a toy gun. The Port Arthur Fire Department UCI dive team is one of only a few in Southeast Texas. They're always on call to help Jefferson County, Orange County, Vider PD, and the U.S. Coast Guard. Probably one of our most difficult operations was a weapon that we recovered back in 2019 uh, for Port Arthur PD. Going great lengths and depths to bring waterlogged forensic evidence to the surface. Erica Harris reporting. The divers need 300 hours of training for certification and they have to pass a yearly fitness swim test that includes front stroke, treading water and using fins, masks and a snorkel.